Hi, welcome to the boardshop.co.uk surfboard review. Today we're looking at uh, the Pukas Inca Construction Tasty Treat. Their latest model from Master Shaper Axel Lorenz. It's a takedown from their very famous sought after Tasty Board, which was developed in that to surf the waves in the northern part of Spain, southwest France, Mandaka esque waves. Now, what he's done with the Tasty Treat is get it built in the Incan construction, more of which later, but the board itself first. So the Tasty was a performance shore board. What he's done is flatten the rocker a little bit, move the wide point a little bit further forward, put some more meat through this front third of the board, especially under your chest uh, in the paddle zone to, to make it paddle and uh, catch weaker waves a bit better. Flatten out the rocker and the tail a little bit so it carries some speed and feels more drivey in poorer waves. And poorer waves is what this board's all about. Not Mandaka when it's cranking, um, but waves which are a bit flatter, sectiony, bumpy with wind, what have you. This board is designed to get going, but allow you to surf it like a performance board. So it generates lots of speed, um, but is loose off the tail. The rails are fairly firm in the back third of the board, kicking in just where the fins are positioned, so you get a nice pivoty feel to your turns. And in this Inca construction, which is nice and light and super tough, it makes it even better. So if you're thinking of like a Pizel Phantom or maybe a Slater Sci-Fi, something like that, be like a more conventional kind of shape board with performance added in, then have a good look at the Tasty Treat because it's a very viable option um, in that, that sort of company. Um, the Inca construction is EPS epoxy blank, stringless, uh, and the key ingredient is this carbon taping, top and bottom, and that's what in effect works like the stringer. The great thing about this kind of epoxy construction is it keeps that new board zing and pop indefinitely. PU boards wear out eventually, lovely to start with after a year or two years, depending how much you surf and they start to feel a bit deader. Epoxy doesn't do that, and this Inca construction is brilliant, frankly. It's light, it's tough, helium firewire type tough, tougher than a lot of the other constructions you see in epoxy coming out. And durability is an increasingly important part for a lot of surfers. Surfboards are a lot of money, and plus environmentally, we want surfboards to last a little bit longer. The other key ingredient with this board is that they are PU prices for epoxy boards. This is under 600 pounds, which for an epoxy board, the quality of finish you get here is pretty staggering. If you're watching this video in a couple of years time, they'll probably have gone up a bit, so don't quote me on that. But um, epoxy wise, as I said, it's burning pretty much as good as it gets. And it, performance wise, it's in the good company with the Pizel Phantom, the Slater Sci-Fi, that ilk of board. So wave range, <laughs> waist, to bit overhead, foot to overhead, depending on the quality of the wave, it's super punchy, probably a little bit less. But what we really like about the Tasty Treat is the way it fits in the wave. It's whippy to surf, comes round out of turns nice and quickly, pushes into turns nice and quickly. You don't have to work too hard to bury the rail. Axel Lorentz is very keen on paring down his rails, so giving the getting rid of the boxy type rails you find on a lot of boards, especially mass, mass produced boards. And the rail is more of a performancey hybrid type rail than you would than you maybe expect to find. But by concentrating the volume in the middle of the board here, you get all the panel power. And by tapering out towards a slightly lowered rail, you get the performance as well. It's a really good uh, combination. Now, if you read Stab Mag and you're interested in their Stab in the Dark, where a pro surfer serves anonymous boards, they're all painted black or whatever, so you can't see what they are, you'll be very interested to know that Axel Lorentz Inca construction board came second only to the Channel Islands um, <coughs> Fever board in their spine technology. technology. So up against Lost, Pizel, all those other heavy hitters, the Pukas construction comes in second. And that tells you something about the performance you're getting out of it for an epoxy board. Most pros at the very top level don't like epoxy boards very much, apart from Slater, because he owns the company. Um, <coughs> but this, did, this construction fared really well, so have a good look at it. So, there it is, Axel Lorenz's Pukas Tasty Treat in the Inca construction, available online right now. Can't custom order it, unfortunately, um, but stock dimensions will be fine for you, I'm sure. 0% finance, trade in an old board, all that stuff. And if you haven't already, you better subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. Thanks for watching.